curves. This is, of course, a picture of former President Ronald Reagan uh, naturally firing a, a machine gun while riding on the back of a dinosaur. You'll notice a couple of important features here. Uh, first of all, uh, the rocket launcher uh, strapped to President Reagan's back, and then the stirring, unmistakable patriotism of the velociraptor holding up a tattered American flag, a symbol of all it means to be an American. Now, critics might quibble with this depiction of the climactic battle of the Cold War, because while awesome, in real life, there was no climactic battle. There was no battle with or without velociraptors. The Cold War, as we all know, was won without firing a shot. But that quibble actually serves our purposes here today, Mr. President, because this image has as much to do with overcoming communism in the 20th century as the Green New Deal has to do with overcoming climate change in the 21st. The aspirations of the proposal have been called radical. They've been called extreme. But mostly, they're ridiculous. There isn't a single serious idea here, not one. To illustrate, let me highlight two of the most prominent goals produced by the plan's authors. Goal number one, the Green New Deal calls essentially for the elimination of airplanes. Now, this might seem merely ambitious for politicians who represent the densely populated northeastern United States. But how is it supposed to work for our fellow citizens who don't live somewhere between Washington, D.C. and Boston? In a future without air travel, how are we supposed to get around the vast expanses of, say, Alaska during the winter? 